all right welcome back to the lecture guys so in this lecture i'm going to show you how to generate a signed apk which is uh, a file that you can upload on the play store okay as a matter of fact you cannot upload uh just any application just any apk file to the play store it must be signed okay so before we um do that let me show you so remember that i we created this healthy woman app folder on our desktop okay that's where we are going to save our signed um, our certificates okay we'll, we'll, we're going to create a certificate to sign our apk file okay so let me um bring up where, where is my okay so let me bring this up and to create a signed apk basically what you need to do is to click on build and instead of just create um clicking on build bundle click on generate signed bundle slash apk okay so um we are going to select apk we're going to select apk and we're going to click on next okay so now this is where you need to actually uh pay attention okay because this is a certificate that we're about to create now it says so it says key store path okay now what i want you to do because this is the very first time we are creating um we are creating this signed apk i want you to click on create new okay that's what i'm going to do create new and it's going to create a new certificate for our app okay so we need a certificate to sign our app all right now um the key stop path is actually where you want to save that certificate so i'm going to click on this folder here and i'm going to locate this guy on my desktop and that's where i'm going to save my certificate okay all right so i would um where's my c drive uh not users definitely not users okay users right users because my desktop is in my users so let me just locate my desktop and okay so this is desktop and inside of the desktop i'm going to locate the healthy woman app so that's what i have here so healthy woman app and that's where i'm going to save my certificate okay so i would name that certificate um um healthy woman dot jks so that's the extension here it's you just you don't have to change this okay so i'm just going to say healthy and woman okay and then i'll click on okay okay now we're gonna uh, we're gonna add a password for this certificate we are creating so um just make sure that you store your password somewhere in fact that's one of the reasons why i asked you to create a file for your app okay so let me just bring in this file here so i'm i'm gonna say here i'll say certificate um password and I'm just going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's definitely not what I'm going to use if I if I wanted to create a password. It's going to be a combination of letters and numbers. So I'll paste that in, and I'll paste that in. Okay. Then the alias for the certificate. Okay. So I'll come here, and I'm just going to copy healthy woman. So I'm I'm going to use this as the alias as well. Okay. I'll come here and paste that in. And the password, I'm going to use the same password here. And I'll paste that in here and confirm it. And leave the validity to 25 years. Okay, so here you just need to set your first name and your last name. So let's just do that quickly. Okay, organizational units, I'll say... And I'm just going to repeat the same for the next one organization and city or locality so I'm going to say Abuja and I'm going to repeat the same for the next one and the country code is NG okay so as it is now everything looks good I'm going to click on OK all right so as it stands now my password my certificate has been created so i'll just click on remember password such that when i want to update my app i don't need to actually enter in the password anymore 
and then I'll click on next all right now it's telling me to choose whether I want a debug APK or a release APK we've actually created a debug APK before so what we need to create is a release APK the one we can upload to the Play Store and then the signature version I'm going to just select both of them so version 1 and version 2 and then I'll click on finish So as you can see here, it says Gradle build running. So it's building our application, right? It's generating a signed APK. Okay, so but what I want to show you is I'm going to go into my folder, my healthy woman folder. Okay, so I'll just come to my desktop and I'll open this. Oh, sorry. I'll open this folder. Okay, so let me just drag it in. You'll notice here that we now have healthywoman.jks. Now, this is the certificate with which you sign your app. Make sure you keep this file very well. Keep it in a place where you're not going to lose it. Because if you lose this file, you will not be able to update your apps on the Play Store. Why? Because you need this file to sign your app every time you want to update it. Okay? So this file is very important. If you don't, if you want to be able to update your apps on the Play Store, make sure you keep this file safe. Okay? All right. So that's what I wanted to say. So let me just pause the lecture, um, the video. Okay. So fine. So it has built my um, signed APK. So it says generate signed APK successfully. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'll click on locate. So you see it says app-release.apk so now this is the apk that we can upload to the play store okay so in subsequent video i'm going to show you how you can upload an apk to the play store but i'm going to be doing that using an actual app that i created and i want to upload to the play store okay now you need to install this apk on your device to test it before you upload it to the play store just to make sure that everything works well i mean an actual device okay so install it on your device make sure that your ads display now i must say that it may take some time for your ads to display especially if you recently just created your admob account or you recently just created the um, app in your account okay so just give it some time okay really just give it up to 24 hours and if it doesn't display then you can use the next um, solution that i'll provide in the video to come okay Alright, so that's how you generate a signed APK. So thank you so much for watching this one. Let's go to the next one.